one of the most important tips I can give for Cubase, much more important than an EQ or compression tip, is how to set up your new project. As the projects get bigger, song files get more and more complex, and things can get accidentally erased. So setting up a separate folder for each song becomes crucial. Let's go through the steps here. As Cubase opens, you'll be greeted with the project assistant. This is between versions Cubase 4, 5, 6, and 7, although it may be a little bit different in Cubase 7 and the project assistant may not be the first page that comes up, but it's there for all the versions of Cubase and I'm using Cubase 5 here. So from the project assistant page, down at the bottom, you can see use default location or prompt for project location. We we'll use the default location for now and click in this box here. And now it's going to ask us where we want to put our song. Let's make a folder called Cubase Projects in My Documents. Now we can put all of our songs here. This is great for one hard drive setups like a laptop, but if you have a separate hard drive on your system, it's a good idea to put your Cubase projects on that separate hard drive. So now that we've made our Cubase projects folder, we can hit OK. And you'll see on the right at the bottom, it says Project Folder. Now we're gonna name it the name of our song, and it's gonna make a folder with that name. If you're just working out an idea and you don't know the name of what your song is going to be, at least use the date so that you can tell your different song projects apart later on. So we'll call this October 15th, 2013, hit create, and here's our new project. It says untitled at the top because we haven't saved it yet. So right away we're going to go file, save, and we'll name it the same as our folder here. Okay, great. Now we've created a Cubase Projects folder. We've created our song folder and we've saved the Cubase project file. Let's take a look and see what that looks like in Windows. Go to Computer, to My Documents, Cubase Projects. So now what Cubase has done is created a folder called October 15th and inside of that folder is our CPR file, which stands for Cubase Project File. And it's also created an audio folder. So any audio you record for that song is going to go into that audio folder. And all of your track information about all of your editing is going to be stored in this Cubase Projects folder, .cpr. So that's what's happening behind the scenes. And as your songs start to fill up, you're going to notice different folders for each song. This is going to become very useful for backing up projects, sharing your projects with people that you're collaborating with. Maybe you're sending it off to a mixer or somebody that you're doing production work with and you're going to be able to easily see what songs you have in your Cubase projects folder here. Let me show you a common scenario that happens so many times with new Cubase users that doesn't work well for them. From this project here, they've maybe added some audio, done a little bit of recording. And have created a song. What they'll often do from here is when they want to make a new song is just go file, save as, make a new song name. Delete the, the stuff from the first song and just start going again. Now that's fine while you're recording songs because you can do it this way, but what happens is once the songs are completed and they want to clean up and delete all the files they didn't use from the song and go to 
media, audio pool. They'll have all of the audio that's being used in this folder and any of the unused audio files get put in the trash. So then from there, right clicking and going empty trash will bring up this window. Do you want to erase the files or only remove them from the pool? Now if you just remove them from the pool, that takes all of the unused files in the trash and just clears them out. But what many people end up doing is hitting the erase button and that erases it completely off the hard drive. Thinking that they're only working and removing the unused audio from that particular song. But what they're really doing is deleting all of their audio from all of their other songs that were made in that same folder. And then going, where's my audio? I don't know. At that point, the game's over. There's nothing you can do. So that's why it's so important to have separate audio folders for each song that you have. So that's it for this quick tip. If you want more detailed tutorials on Cubase, look at my buddy Des Asante, the Cubase Ninja on YouTube. You're going to like what he has to offer. Thanks for watching.